Welcome back to Morning Break and another Reading Reno segment. We're so excited because joining us today is Jade Griffin. So thank you, Jade, so much for being here and for sharing all of your books with us. This is really exciting for us. My pleasure to be here. So let's start with the book that you're holding right now. You don't have a copy of the book, but we've got the cover, which is important, Taken for Granted. Tell us about this book. It is a tabletop role-playing game in the Call of Cthulhu system, <laughs> and it came out in 2021. Okay. And it started my publication journey. Really? Okay, so you've got to kind of explain to me how this works. Like, role-playing, tabletop, but it's also a book? Or how does that work? <laughs> uh, most people have heard of D&D, &D, Dungeons mm -hmm. & Dragons. It's like that, but it's more HP Lovecraft related. Okay. And it's the same thing, character sheets and dice. And I write and publish my own adventures on DriveThroughRPG.com. Oh my gosh, that is so fun. How in the world did you get started writing something like that? A friend of mine said, hey, I've heard of this workshop on Storytelling Collective called Write Your First Adventure, and that's what started it. Wow, that is so fun. And so this one was just published for the first time in 2021, is that right? Yep. And you've kind of just continued writing and writing and writing and publishing books. So let's talk a little bit about the next book that uh, we have is called The Lone Collection, which is very unique. I like the story. Mm -hmm. uh, a lone collection is unique in that it is also a tabletop role-playing game, but you don't need a keeper or anyone else running it. It's a solo adventure that you can run yourself. Oh, I love that. So what's the story about? Uh, you are a guard that's been hired to watch an eccentric man's collection while he is away. Oh, and, and then chaos maybe ensue. Yeah, <laughs> and it's in the uh, late 1800s. Okay, very mm -hmm. cool. So that's something you can play by yourself versus the first one that you wrote, Taken for Granted. More of a team kind of a game? Yes. Okay, good to know. I love that. And now let's go to some traditional books that you have, which mm -hmm. led your Lacey Moore series. And so yeah. most recently you published The Death of Lacey Moore, the third one in the series. Tell us a little bit about this storyline. It started with Taken for Granted oh, because really? um, there are characters that you can play in the game and then there are characters that are NPCs, non-playable characters, that the person running the game, the keeper, they take on that role. But when I leave the table, they have their own stories and they don't stop talking, so I write them. What? That mm -hmm. is so cool, Jade. I mean, like, you're <laughs> blowing my mind because we've had a lot of very interesting people come on the show talking about their work, but yeah. nothing like this. So what was it about Lacey Moore and her storyline that was just like, I have to put this down on paper? She is an amazing, strong uh, person who doesn't really need anybody, <laughs> but that tends to get her into trouble sometimes. Oh, too independent, some might yeah. say. Okay. Or uh, a woman who's a monster hunter in the 1800s, things can get a little... Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, I didn't realize yes. that was what her character was. A mm -hmm. monster hunter in the 1800s. Yes. That's very interesting. And then the last fact that your third book in the trilogy is called The Death of Lacey Moore. Hopefully that's no spoilers. You know, you're going to fall in love with the character <laughs> and then kill her off. So yes. we'll just have to find out. So um, for folks who want to learn more about their books, mm -hmm. the games, where can they find you? You can find me on jadegriffinauthor.com or you can go to drivethroughrpg.com and look for my name, Jade Griffin, as a creator there. And I should mention, Griffin is with an I-N, so G-R-I-F-F-I-N. Mm -hmm. And we've got a little bit more time, so um, mm -hmm. what advice would you have to other people who are aspiring writers? I would definitely recommend to practice your craft. Mm. Uh, lots of people recommend reading. Uh, find a model that you like. Study what they do. and. Keep plugging away. Keep plugging away. Mm -hmm. So when it comes to role-playing games, was that something you were already interested in? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she yes. says, yeah. <laughs> Wait, are we talking Dungeons and Dragons, or were there other ones that oh, you really Oh, there liked? are other ones, too. Oh, there's, tell me. I'm not familiar. Uh, there are different ones. There's uh, The Strange. There's Star Wars. There's even ones for, like, Aliens or Star Trek or you name it. <laughs> there's probably a role-playing game out there for it. I love that. See, she's, like, opening my mind <laughs> to a whole new world of gaming right now, which I absolutely love. Um, if you had to pick one that's your favorite, you would recommend to people? I mean, besides yeah. taking for granted, of course. Um, <laughs> what, was, what was kind of, like, the gateway role-playing game that you started with? Call of Cthulhu. 
Call of Cthulhu. Oh, okay. yes, definitely. <laughs> You're, she's grinning so much <laughs> right now. I love that. You you know she likes this game. Mm -hmm. And, of course, you're going to check out her uh, multiple games, her multiple books right there. Taken for Granted is the first game. And then, of course, there are so many books you want to check out as well. We are so honored to have a, a local author here who's really just doing cool things out there in the world. Thank so thank you, Jade, so much for being here. And I'll make sure that your website and all your information is on our website so that people can check you out. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Maybe we should get, like, a group together to play Taken for Granted and stuff. I will totally run. You'll do YouTube. that? Yes. Okay, done. We're mm -hmm. going to have the author of the game join us for a game. I think that would be <laughs> fantastic. So, Jade, thank you so much for being here. We appreciate it. You're very it. welcome. It's my pleasure. All right, and thank you guys for watching. We'll be right back.